Okay, cool. So, um, what we want to do is just give you a bit of an introduction of how we've been developing the, the electro kit for the Venture Connect with the SCS kit in. Um, so, some of you might be aware there's been a bit of a time scale while we've been getting this sorted out. We realise that the off the shelf kind of um, equipment that's provided so far um, isn't quite up to it. So, we spent a lot of time working with another company along with RS to develop a really, really good bit of kit which we believe there's nothing quite out there in the market at the moment. So I just want to give you a bit of a run through of how we are. Some aspects are still prototypey, some parts are pretty much production parts. So come in closer, a bit closer to you. Okay, so the, the idea is, is that we've got this box here. This is a waterproof box which has got all the governs in it. Okay, This box can be removed from the boat and kept in the dry wherever you want. That's the beauty of it. Well, we'll show you in a second, but this box will sit either underneath the back hatch, which has got the ram on it, or it actually can sit sl slightly further forward on the deck down here. Okay, and we'll go through the various options that you can you can talk about in a second. So if you um, if you come over here, so basically we'll open up the box in a second. Um, so you've got the on switch here. This is your uh, kill power um, uh, box. It's got Velcro on the bottom, so that could be fitted wherever you want wherever you feel comfortable in the boat so that you can kill the power, okay? Then, so um, it's worth saying that the steering side of it is production. The, um, the, the main sheet side of it is still a uh, prototype. We're getting there, but there's a few aspects on there which just need a, a few tweaking. But as you can see here from, from the joystick, um, I can do the steering, so you can have a look here. I can control the steering quite happily. Or if I go forwards and backwards, if you have a look up at the main sheet, I can sheet in the main sheet. Or sheet it out. Really nice, very minimum effort gone in there, but there's some nice control in it. Okay? It's a bit of a, um, a safety side, so if I just sheet in the main sheet right in. So if you imagine you were sailing along and you got hit by a big gust and you just needed a bit more um, reaction to get the boom out, we always recommend with this, this system, particularly if you've got the electric main sheet, that you've got someone in the boat who's got uh, full mobility with their arms so that you can activate the sort of a worst case scenario. So if you do need to dump the main, you can do it in the traditional format and just dump out the main, okay? So it's a bit of a... Get out of the, um, you know, if you get walloped by a big gust and you've not quite reacted to it, then the person with the able, a top half able can knock that off and you can get rid of the power straight away. Okay, so I just sheet out here. It's quite a cool system. So basically, if you, Tegan, if you can have, come to up here, you can see you've got this area here and then uh, this metal slug here. Once that slug hits this area here, it stops, okay? So what that means is that, and then likewise on the other side, so further towards the end of the boom, when you sheet in, it knows when to stop sheeting in so you can't oversheet, putting pressure on the rig and on the, um, on, on the electronic system. So it's quite a cool system that's been set up. Okay, so going back to the box, just put that down there and I'll just switch the power unit off there so you can see um, so it's a really tough tough box where um, currently there's a few things so we're actually going to move this and we're going to have a, a situation where this will fit inside here and, and potentially the power switch as well so there's gonna be a couple of jigs with the foam side but the actual the way that it's um, laid out from a point of view of cables going in and use, usability of it, this is pretty much how it's going to be. Um, inside here, you've got the, the main brain um, of, uh, of all the switches and so on and so forth, and all the cables are coming in through here through waterproof fixings. The battery charger is uh, in the lid there. Okay, so the battery charger is in here, so if you need to charge the battery, that's, that's there, and you've got two batteries that are going on there. And as I said, what the real beauty of this is you've got a really rough, tough um, case which, um, which you can remove from the boat. You know, water and electricity obviously generally don't mix particularly well. So if we can take this away every time we finish sailing, 
then we should hopefully um, the whole system should last a lot longer. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the box back into the hatch so you can see how it how it sits. So first thing first, when you're doing that, you just need to make sure that the power's off, and then we can go through and take off these plugs. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'll close that up. and then we'll bring it over the back hatch here. Okay, so we've got where it's attached to the ram here, these arms, they're spring loaded. So you just slide it down, pop it down, slide it down and pop it down, okay? Then we're going to take the hatch off. Which, pardon? I made that look easy, didn't I? There we go. So put that down, and then if you come and have a look, Tegan, you see you've got this really cool sort of foam inserts, and then the box sits in there. So it's pretty good. And then you've got, so all the cables are coming out here, through this gap here, and then you can run them. How you run them is gonna be very much down to how you want it set up. As I've mentioned, this whole foam insert, that can be located here. There's pros and cons to that. One being that you, um, that's obviously a lot quicker to do, a lot quicker to, to get to, a bit, bit more fiddly to get into the back hatch, but it does give, get rid of the, uh, the box from a line of sight. If you've got it here, you lose a bit of space. And also, if you can imagine, if you just have a look here, Tegan, that the cables are coming out here, like that, there is a chance that what's in, in, in the, um, the back deck area that someone might stand on those cables and therefore, you know, damage them. Um, just got one question coming over from the side there. Uh, yeah, when it's uh, behind the seats, it just gets, the, the case is straight down onto the deck. Okay, so correct that, the foam in such states here, the case, because it's so sturdy, can actually physically just be fixed in there. The inserts are gonna stay in the back of the boat. Okay. Um, Right, um, we'll put the hatch back on. No, we won't leave that there. Is there any other questions? No, I think that's it. As I say, this is a real basic one. We'll do a proper video about this um, in a slightly more glamorous setting, but we just want to keep you up to date with um, how the system's going. And if you've got any questions, then um, just comments below. And um, yeah, thanks a lot. That's the um, electro kit for the Venture Connect SES.